Hello and welcome back to Adapt Keto Ladies YouTube channel. My name is Christy and I am also on Instagram. I am Dat Keto Lady. I would love for you to follow me on that platform as well. Today I'm going to spotlight one of my most favorited or liked breakfast sandwiches. This is very similar to a breakfast sandwich that you would get at McDonald's known as the McGriddle, but this is a keto friendly version. It comes or it has all very accessible um, ingredients, very simple ingredients, just a handful of them is all you're going to need. And it's super easy to make. It is also an excellent, excellent meal prep item. So if you're busy on the weekdays or if you're just a busy person in general, this is a great item for you to make ahead of time. It stores well and it also freezes well. So I'm gonna take y'all along with me and show you how it's made. It is also a recipe from my e-cookbook, Big Easy Keto, which is an e-cookbook available on datketolady.com. It has 63 of my personal recipes in it, all with super easy ingredients, nothing crazy in it. It's $12. It's gonna be the best $12 you've spent in a long time, I guarantee it. So let's get started. I will show you a breakdown of what you'll need for this recipe from start to finish, how to store it, all that good stuff. So let's get started. To get started, I'm gonna show you exactly the ingredients that I use, and all of this is available at your local Walmart. I prefer Havarti cheese. This is from Walmart and I buy this over near the deli section. It is not where you would buy the bag cheeses at. It is over where they sell the blue cheese and things like that. So this is a personal item that I like. You can choose any cheese that you want for this recipe. You're gonna need two eggs. You're gonna need a tablespoon of butter. You're gonna need baking powder. It can be any brand. This is just what I have on hand. These are the sausage patties that I use. These come from Walmart also. They are in the freezer section near the breakfast foods. Then you're gonna need a tablespoon of sugar-free syrup. Feel free to use whatever your favorite brand is. This again, it comes from Walmart. This is the almond flour you're gonna use. I prefer Great Value brand. This is $10.98 a bag at Walmart. It is an excellent, excellent almond flour. So now we're gonna get started on how to make this delicious goodness. I also wanna point out that this is the size ramekin that I use. It is a standard size ramekin. It also comes from Walmart. It's the Pioneer Woman brand, and it is a standard ramekin. It comes out to be the perfect size when you make your breakfast sandwich in this. In our ramekin, we're gonna start off with one tablespoon of butter. I put it in the microwave and melt it the next part of the process is super easy. It's just a matter of adding the ingredients that we're gonna need. Next, we're gonna add a half of a teaspoon of baking powder, and I never pack this down. I just simply take it and just make sure it's leveled off in the top. And then we're going to need one egg. Next is one tablespoon of sugar-free syrup. Two tablespoons of almond flour. Next is the almond flour, and I'm doing a terrible job at this. Don't pack the almond flour down. Just scoop it out of the bag and level it off. Mix it well so that all of your ingredients are combined. Okay, it's been microwaved for 90 seconds and you can see it comes out really in a nice shape. Sometimes it can be a little bit wonky, but I'll show you how to make it into a top bun and a bottom bun from this. 
All right, what I do is super fancy, so you don't have to do it this way, but this is a paper towel. I just dump it out, kind of shake it till it comes out, and you can see there you have it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be in a circle shape. So I'm gonna slice it in half, <clears throat> and then I'm gonna toast it up on each side. It's super hot, so I'm gonna try not to burn myself. So there we have it. Now we have a bottom bun and a top bun. We're gonna toast them up in a skillet now. I have my heat on the stove. It's on about a medium setting, and I'm just gonna toast this on each side. This is a really important step because not only um, does it give you the opportunity that if your bun comes out a little bit misshapen, you can always kind of flatten it out and get it into the circle shape that you're going for, but it also toasts it up and it gives it just a really good flavor in general. So this is an important step that you don't want to skip. All right, you can see they're toasting up. I flipped them. This one was kind of higher on one side than the other, so I just, you can make this whatever thickness you want. A lot of people have messaged me saying that their shapes don't come out just right. Could be because you're cooking it in a mug versus a ramekin. I think that has an effect on it. But this is the time for you to flatten it out, get it all perfectly, and um, make it so that it's aesthetically pleasing to the eye because usually food that looks better tastes better. Up next, I am cooking my breakfast sausage. This is an item that could be cooked in the microwave. I've done it before, but I figure since I already have the skillet out, I just as well cook it in, in the skillet since it's already heated up, you know? But you can do it whatever way you want. You can also substitute this for bacon or Canadian bacon, uh, ham. You can substitute this particular meat with any one that you choose to. Or you can, you know, not even do it at all. Whatever you want to do. But a lot of times, the oil and the grease just from the from this uh, sausage patty is enough for me to cook the egg in. So I will usually kind of throw that in here at the same time and cook them both together. And it kind of just saves a little step. And of course, since I'm recording this, there are shells in here because that's just the way it goes, right? All right, so I fish those out. That's great. And then I just pop the egg yolk. You don't have to, but I do most of the time just because it makes it for an easier eating sandwich. So there we have it. How fabulous does this look? It looks terrible, but I promise it's gonna be okay when it's all said and done. You also may want to add some pepper to your egg while you're cooking it. What do y'all think so far? Looks looks okay. I'm not even going to take these bloopers out of the film. I'm just going to leave it in here because this is real life and this is the way it goes down sometimes. I don't want y'all to think that everything happens and it's perfect because it ain't. It ain't perfect, y'all. All right, I think the egg is pretty much done at this point. I'm gonna take it and put it onto the bread that's sitting over here. And I'm gonna take the sausage as well. I'll show you that sitting right here. And there we have it. I have my bottom bun, my egg, and my sausage. I'm gonna top it with the Havarti cheese, or you can do whatever cheese you would prefer. And there you have it. I mean, come on. Like, how delicious does that look? It's going to taste amazing. And it's totally keto friendly. You can meal prep this. And I will also show you how to store it. So it's good for the upcoming week to make your life 
so easy and so satisfying. Since this can be used as a meal prep item, I want to show you two different ways that you can store it to keep it fresh. The first way is going to be just simply by wrapping it in a piece of parchment paper and storing it there you go and you can store it in the refrigerator these can also be frozen and what i recommend if you're going to freeze them for any length of time put them in a ziploc bag just to give them an extra level of protection you don't have to put the cheese on it when you're making it you could always add it before you heat it up or even after you heat it up but this is how i do it so i'm just sharing that aspect with you if you make it let me know you did it how you liked it all that good stuff i hope y'all enjoyed the video so thank y'all so much for joining in on the youtube video i hope you enjoyed it i'm leaving all the bloopers in there because that's the way it happens i will maybe eventually learn how to really edit videos but at this point i'm just excited to get something up for y'all to watch to make to recreate all that good stuff this is a recipe from my e-cookbook if you haven't gotten it go download it on datketolady.com if you don't follow me on instagram go follow your girl what are you waiting on and i also want you to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification button so you know every time i upload a youtube video i hope y'all have an awesome week eat some delicious keto friendly food and share it with somebody that you love